Good day everyone and welcome to our new lesson. This is actually a continuation of our first discussion on the research variables. There we discussed the difference between qualitative and quantitative variables. So kung hindi mo pa napapanood yun, I suggest panoorin mo muna. So in this discussion, we are going to focus on independent and dependent variables. Moreover, pag-uusapan din natin ang kaibahan ng control and experimental groups. Let's get right to it. In our last discussion, we defined a variable. Moreover, we classified it as to its nature. Yun yung qualitative and quantitative variables. In this video, I would like to emphasize that a variable can also be categorized based on its purpose and role sa isang study. This is very evident sa isang experimental study. So ano nga bang nangyayari sa isang experimental study? A variable is being manipulated or controlled to see if it has any effect or something changes on another variable. Take a look at this illustration. So in an experimental study, mag-iisip si researcher ng variable na magkakos ng change to another variable. For example, a researcher may use a biogel organic fertilizer to see if it has any effect on the plant growth o dun sa pagtubo ng isang halaman by conducting an experiment. In that context, yung variable na minanipulate or kinontrol ng researcher is what we call the independent variable. It can also be referred to as the intervention or treatment. Ibig sabihin nito, ang independent variable ay yung variable na gagamitin, kukontrolin, or imamanipula ng researcher para makakita siya ng epekto or pagbabago sa isa pang variable. Doon sa experiment na kinontak or nakita mo kanina, obviously, ang independent variable ay ang biogel organic fertilizer. Dahil ito yung gustong gamitin, i-manipulate or i-control ng researcher para makita niya kung mayroon bang pagbabago doon sa plant growth o doon sa pagtubo ng halaman. Ang tawag naman doon sa variable na gustong makitaan ng changes, pagbabago o ng epekto ay dependent variable. Remember that this variable is the one being tested or measured in an experiment. Okay? Ang relasyon ng independent at dependent variable ay cause and effect. Ang independent ay yung magkakos at gusto niyang makita yung effect doon sa dependent variable. Kumbaga, gagamit ka ng independent variable para makita yung effect niya sa dependent variable. So in our example kanina, the independent variable was the biogel organic fertilizer at gustong makita kung meron ba tong epekto sa pagtubo ng halaman which makes plant growth our dependent variable. Let's practice. Effects of teaching cells on the student's academic performance. Sa experiment na to, gustong makita ni researchers kung ang pagbabago ba sa teaching styles ay magkakaroon ng epekto sa pagbabago sa pagtaas o pagbaba ng academic performance ng kanyang mga estudyante. Ano sa palagay mo ang independent variable natin? If your answer is teaching cells, you are correct. And definitely, our dependent variable is the academic performance. Let's have another one. Effectiveness of using counseling techniques in addressing learners' test anxiety. Sa experiment naman na ito, gustong gumamit ni researchers ng iba't ibang uri ng counseling techniques para makita kung kaya niya bang i-address, i-lessen, or i-decrease yung test anxiety ng kanyang mga estudyante. So which do you think is our independent variable? If your answer is counseling techniques, then you are correct. And our dependent variable is the test anxiety of the learners. One more, the use of student tutorial and review sessions or STARS towards the improvement of academic achievement in practical research too. Sa study naman na to, gustong gamitin ng mga researcher ang STARS para ma-improve ang performance o academic achievement ng mga estudyante sa practical research too. So, which is the independent variable? It's the stars. How about the dependent variable? It's the academic achievement of the students in practical research too. Last one, and it's a bit tricky. Gender differences on the leadership cells of school heights in Region 3. Sa study naman na to, gustong makita ng mga researchers kung meron bang pagkakaiba-iba sa leadership style sa mga school head depende sa kanilang gender differences. So ano sa palagay mo ang independent variable? 
If your answer is gender differences, then you are right. How about the dependent variable? Leadership styles. I would like to note that in this particular example, instead of using an intervention or a treatment to see if it has any effect on the leadership styles ng mga school head, ginamit ng researcher ang innate na independent variable ng mga respondents. And what is that? That's the gender. Kung sila ba ay L, G, B, T, or Q. So walang treatment, pero may init independent variable na ginamit ang researcher. Let us now proceed to the difference between control and experimental groups. Sa madaling salita, ang experimental group ay ang grupong makaka-receive ng independent variable o yung intervention o treatment na ginamit ng researcher. On the other hand, ang control group naman is the group which does not receive the, the independent variable or pwedeng gamitan siya ng ibang treatment or intervention ng researcher. Take a look at this illustration. After randomly selecting your samples, then you would have to randomly assign them as to whether these samples would go to the experimental group or to the control group. Bakit? Para masiguro natin na aside from random sampling, eh meron din tayong random assignment. Bakit? Kasi gusto natin na yung conditions ng experimental at control group ay pareho. Take a look at this experiment on the effect of biofertilizer on plant growth. Again, ano nga ba yung independent variable natin? It's biofertilizer. Now look at the two samples. The experimental group clearly receives the independent variable. On the other hand, the control group does not. Remember, a good control group is identical to the experimental group except for the fact that the experimental group receives the independent variable. Let's practice. Una, subukan mong i-identify kung ano ang independent at ano ang dependent variable sa experiment na ito. Ikalawa, subukan mong i-determine kung alin ang control at experimental groups. Ready? So the experiment is this. Will the student's test scores be affected by the distracting sounds in a testing environment? So which do you think is the independent variable? If your answer is distracting sounds, then you are correct. How about the dependent variable? Kung ang sagot mo naman ay test scores, then you are right. Now let's try to determine alin ang control at experimental group. Yung control ba yung nasa left or nasa right? If your answer is the one on the left side, then you are correct. And obviously, the one that receives the intervention, which is the distracting sounds, are the ones on the right, which makes them the experimental groups. And that is all for this discussion. If you still have questions or clarifications regarding this topic, please leave us a comment. I do hope you learned something in this video. Thank you and God bless. Thank you for watching another video from IDS where we develop, educate, appreciate, and succeed all together. And again, this is Doc I telling you to have an eye that aims high.